starting with a standing DC to the first treble, to the first DC of the previous round. And then we're going to work a, another DC of the next three stitches. So that's my standing DC and then I've worked one, two, three. Okay, so that's the beginning of your row. Now we're going to work a front post double treble. So yeah, round two, around the seventh treble from round three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one here. Yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, two, yarn over, two. And then we're going to miss a stitch, so we're missing that one there, and working a DC into the next. So there's that stitch that you missed there. And now a front post double treble around the fifth. So we're missing, if we're working back that way, we're missing that next treble and going around the next one. So the front post double trebles are crossing over. Okay, so now we're missing the next stitch. So we've worked into that one, missing that one and we're working for DC. One, two, three, and four. And now we're working a front post treble, not front post double treble, just a front post treble around the next treble that starts your first V. So that's this one here. So not this treble, this treble here. So yarn over, hook around the back of that first treble of that first V and complete that. Now we're missing a stitch, so that's the last one we've worked into, we're missing that one, working a DC into here. And now we're working a two treble tog over the next two trebles from round three. So that's yarn over, insert your hook round the back of the next treble, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then usually to finish off your treble, you yarn over and pull through the next two. We're not going to do that. We're going to yarn over and go onto the next treble, Yarn over, pull through two. So you can see we've worked half a treble over the next two stitches and they're still joined. Then we're yarning over and pulling through all three to bring them together. And that's your front post treble to tog, okay? So now we are missing a stitch. Sorry, I'm missing, we're missing a stitch. So we've worked into that one, missing that one, and working a DC into the next two stitches. One, two, and then working a front post treble two tog over the next two trebles from round three. So these two here. So we're working over two halves of a V. So that's your V. And we'll work it, and that's a V. And we're working over two halves of two V's. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook around the next treble from round three. Yarn over, pull through two, and then we stop there and we just go on to the next treble. Yarn over, take your hook underneath that next treble, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So we've got three loops on the hook that join these two together. Yarn over, pull through, and that is your front post treble two tog. So missing one again, missing that one there, working two DC, one, two, and front post treble two tog again, yarn over, 
So the next available treble from round three is this one. Insert your hook around the back, yarn over, pull through the work, yarn over, pull through two. Stop there, yarn over, insert around the back of the next available treble from round three, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So you've got three loops left on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's the effect that you're getting. Okay, so missing the next stitch, working a DC into the next two stitches and a front post, treble two tog again. So Missing one stitch, one treble into the next two stitches. And this is your last. So we've done one, two, three, four, and we're wanting another one. So this is your last um, front post treble, two tog for this set of these. So yarn over, insert your hook around the back of the next available treble from round three, from row three. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two and stop there. Yarn over, go on to the next treble round the back. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. So you've got three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Okay. So, missing the next stitch, working a DC into the next two stitches. So this is where it can throw you a little bit because over here, when we did this treble, we missed one, uh, sorry, we didn't miss one. We uh, worked one DC before we started the, the togs. Whereas here we're doing two DC before we mirror with this treble here, okay? So now it's a front post treble just by itself a lot um, on that last treble of the last V. There we go. So you can see now that you've got your two normal trebles here that go around the first and the last treble of the first and the last V. Then you've got one DC here, whereas you've got two here. So don't forget that because that can throw you. Then you've got your front post treble two togs with two DC in between each one missing missing a stitch behind your your tog okay so now we're going to do seven dc of the next seven stitches so we're missing where well, we've done a front post treble there to pull it forward that's the last one we worked into that's one that we're missing so this is the next one we're working into so one two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're doing this block again. So, yarn over and work a front post treble around the first V of, around the first treble of the first V. So that's that one there. So we're working a front post treble around that. And now we are working, we're missing a stitch. So we've worked into that one, missing that one, and we are working a DC into the next two. So we've got two DC there, not one, two. And now we're going to work a tog of the next two treble from round three. So yarn over around the back of that next treble, yarn over, pull through two, stop there, yarn over, move on to the next treble, round the back, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, and then you can pull through all three. Oh, got stuck. 
There we go. So forward, missing that next stitch, working two DC into the next two stitches. And we're doing a tog again, yarn over, and on the back of the next treble from round three, yarn over, pull through. I keep calling them rounds when they're rows, but I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, then yarn over, move on to the next, round the back, then yarn over and pull through all three to make that a tog. So this is your, this is your front post treble, two tog. So missing your next stitch, working two, DC of your next two stitches and a tog again, front post treble, two tog, yarn over, around the next treble from row three, yarn over, pull through two, move on to the next one, yarn over, around the back of the next treble, yarn over, pull through two, so you've got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through three, move, tilt it forward, missing that stitch, and DC into the next two stitches. So, top again, yarn over, around the back of the next treble, pull through two, move on to the next one, yarn over, pull through two, pull through three, right, so, miss your next stitch, DC into the next two stitches, and then this is your final front post, treble two tog, yarn over, around the back of the next treble, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, move on to the next one, around the back, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through all three, forward, miss your next stitch, and we're working one DC into the next, that's all not two, yarn over, and we're just working a normal front post treble, around that last treble of the last V from round row three. <laughs> right, so move it forward, missing your next stitch and we're working four DC, one, two, three, four. Now we're working a front post double treble around the fifth treble, working from this side. So one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we're missing a stitch and working a DC into the next. And then we're working a front post double treble, working back on ourselves this way. Miss one that's next to the one we've just worked, and we're working into the next one. There we go. So missing one stitch, missing that one, and we should have four DC left to work into. There we go. So that is row five. So we should have four DC here. You crossed front post double treble here with a DC in the middle and a stitch missed on either side. Four DC here. A DC, uh, front post treble round your first treble of your first V from row three. Missing a stitch, working one DC into your next. And then working your front post treble two tog missing a stitch and working two 
So you should have one, two, three, four, five front post treble two togs with two stitches in between, with two DC in between. So just recapping again, you've got one DC there and two DC here in between them last front post trebles. Okay, then you've got your seven DC in the middle and then this bit here is mirroring this bit so that you've got your two DC here and your one here so it's totally mirroring it. You get all that in. Let's see, yeah, so you've got one DC here and then you've got two DC here. Okay. Then you've got four DC and you cross front post double treble with your DC in the middle and a stitch missed on either side and your four DC at the end. So if you've got all that, we can then go on to row six, which will be your plain DC row. So you're chaining one, turning the work and working a DC into every stitch. Okay, so that should be pretty simple. You're just working a DC into every stitch that you've made on that row, okay? I'll see you when we get to the end of that. So before we start the next row, the seventh row, we're going to mark a stitch. So these DCs here from row five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're going to put a marker around the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to put my hook around there, grab a piece of contrasting yarn and pull it through. There we go. And now we can get started with our row. So we're going to start with a standing treble to the first stitch of the row. Then we're going to work another 12 trebles into the next 12 stitches. So we should have 13 including the standing treble. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we're going to work a front post double treble around the front post treble two tog. Okay, so yarn over twice and you just insert in your hook around the back of all of that. Okay. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now I'm missing a stitch and working two trebles into the next two stitches. There we go. And then we're doing the same again. Yarn over twice and working a front post double treble around the next front post treble to tug and we're going to do that across each of the next three front post treble two togs so two trebles in between each one okay so now you should have one two three four five front post double trebles over the five front post treble two togs from round five. Okay, with two trebles in between each of them. So when you've got that, we're going to work five trebles, missing the next stitch and working five trebles. One, two, three, for five and now we're working a front post double treble around that stitch that we marked 
Okay. Then we're going to work, we're going to miss a stitch and work a treble into the top, into the next stitch. And then yarn over twice and we're working a front post double treble around that same stitch. So it looks like that. So we can get rid of our contrast yarn now. Okay, so you've got your little V there and your front post double trebles there. Okay, so now we can miss the next stitch and work another five trebles. So one, two, three, four, five, and then the same again. Yarn over twice and we're working front post double treble round the tog, miss a stitch and work a treble into each of the next two. Same again, front post treble two tog around the, the tog, miss your next stitch. There we go, so we've worked a front post double treble over each of the front post treble two togs with two de uh, treble in between each of them. Okay, so we've only missed a stitch where we've just missed one stitch to make way for the front post double treble laying over it, okay? So now we have to work 13 trebles over the next 13 stitches. So I'm missing one stitch. One, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So you should have 13 trebles on either side to here, so 13 on either side of here. Then you've got your front post, you should have five front post double trebles with two trebles in between each one. That's them there. Then you should have five trebles on either side of your front post double treble V stitch here with a treble in the middle. So as long as you're missing a stitch behind each of your front post trebles or your front post double trebles. So I'm missing one on either side of here, as you can see there. then you should have your 65 stitches. So now we can chain one, turn the work and work a DC into every stitch to the end. Okay, and then I'll see you for round eight. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. So you should have 13 trebles at the beginning and the end up to your front post double trebles where you should have five front post double trebles going around your togs from round five and you should have two trebles in between each of them so two trebles in between each of them then five trebles on either side of your V which should have a treble in the middle. I'm just making sure that you're missing one stitch to make up for your, your front posts. So you're just making missing one stitch because this is lying over it. So here you should have 
one mist on either side for your two from post double trebles. Okay. So if you've got all that right, you should have 65 stitches. So we can chain one and turn and work a DC into every stitch along here. Okay, until we get to the end and then we'll be ready for round nine. <laughs> 